General Council of the Trade Union Federation met Friday for three hours, discussing a proposal from the Prime Minister to waive the final 7.5% of the salary increase promised to public sector workers last year. At the end of the talks, the TUF president stated there would be a disruption next week, while encouraging public sector workers to attend meetings organized by their unions. There will be disruption because the, the workers must meet, public sector workers all must meet next week. So there will be emergency meetings of all the sectors between Monday and Tuesday next week. The education minister was not all that thrilled with the possibility of calling school off on the first day of the term. Austin James says he had not received any communication about the SLTU meeting. If there are no teachers in the school or the principals are not at the school, then we may have chaos. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't like that at all. So uh, I, I, I am going to find out what is going to happen. Although, as I said, I have not been informed that there is going to be a meeting. But if there is going to be a meeting and all teachers will be pulled out, then we cannot allow the children to go on the compound unattended. But Monroe says the problem was not created by the TUF, so the Education Ministry and all other public sector offices must understand. The TUF president says the Federation agreed to a meeting with the Prime Minister after King had indicated that he had written to request a meeting, a letter the TUF said it never got. We indicated we had not received that letter, but we agreed to meet with the Prime Minister by 5 o'clock Wednesday in emergency session. That is the kind of response that the Trade Union Federation gave. So it is not us, it is not a situation created by us. So the Ministry of Education and all other departments and the public must understand that the matter has to be dealt with and it has to be dealt with and it has to be dealt with urgently. And so if there are disruptions, I think they are, the disruptions are necessary to arrive at answers to a particular problem. The teachers' union will meet its members at the National Cultural Center at 10 a.m. Monday. Workers represented by the Civil Service Association will meet on that same day at 8 a.m. Clinton Reynolds, HDS News, Channel 4.